Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com. I'm here today with your 17th Java tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be talking about if statements. An if statement is a way in Java to decide whether or not to run a piece of code. So you can say, if A is true, then do B. Or if this is true, then run this piece of code. So it's a great way to kind of decide whether a piece of code should be run or not based on some criteria. So for this example today, we're going to be kind of looking at a similar example we've had in the past. Uh, we're going to be asking a user for their favorite number. And we're going to print out on the screen something like, you know, thanks for telling me your favorite number. But if their favorite number is the same as ours, then we'll add a line and print something like, wow, we have the same favorite number or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I've already got on my screen here, I've already imported our scanner class, which you've seen in a couple tutorials now. It allows us to get input from our user. We've go ahead, I went ahead and uh, created a new scanner here and told it to watch our system input for the um, input from our user. And I've just created a prompt here asking our user for their favorite number. So what I want to do now is we'll just go ahead and create another, um, go ahead and create a variable to store their answer in. So we know that the number is going to be integer, so we'll do int, we'll say favnum, we'll, we'll name it, and we'll do my scanner.nextint, so that we get the next integer that our user inputs in the screen. And then once they put that in, we'll just do something like system.out.println, thanks for sharing. All right. So now that we've got that information in there, what we want to do is we want to decide if they give us a number that's also our favorite number, we want to put something else out to them. So we can do that with an if statement. So for if statement, it's really simple. You just type the word if, you do open closing parenthesis, and inside this parenthesis is what you're evaluating. So if something in here inside these parentheses evaluates to true, then it's going to run the code in the if statement. And we'll go ahead and finish off here with an open and closing curly brace. So if whatever's in here is true, do whatever's between these two lines. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if favnum is equal to, remember the double equal sign compares two things. Um, we'll just say our favorite number is 7. It's pretty common. So we'll say if favnum, which is what we're storing our user's input in, is equal to 7, then do this. And we're just going to print another message out and say something like, wow, we have the same favorite number. All right, so what should happen now, if our, enter, if our user enters seven, it'll come down here, and since seven equals seven, this will be true, it's gonna run this right here. So let's go ahead and test this and let's see what we get. All right, so what is your favorite number? Let's go ahead and try a different number other than seven. Let's say our favorite number is nine enter and just says thanks for sharing nothing else happens so this piece of code right here didn't run but what happens if you run it again and if we choose seven this time there we go it says thanks for sharing wow we have the same favorite number so that's what the if statement does it says if whatever's in here is true so in our example if seven equals seven then go ahead and do this and if not don't do anything just go ahead and move on to the next line do whatever else is in our program so kind of a simple quick tutorial, if statements are very simple. Um, if you like, make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned next time we'll be looking at if-else statements.